Hi, I'm Birgit O'Connor, and welcome to my studio. Today I'd like to take you into an actual workshop where we're going to be painting the star flower. You'll see how I do it from beginning to end, and I'll walk you through it every step of the way. So let's get started. I'll repeat what I just did. And you're thinking, we all raced up here for that. So I'm going to go over it again. I don't want it to be really puddly. I want just a little bit of water on here so I don't get that um, hard look. Okay. So more water. No. Oh. And in fact, if you have too much water, I'm just lifting it off. I'm not looking for a real puddle. Now, you might think, well, why do we have to put another layer on top of this? <coughs> Even though it's not going to really look like it, you will get more dimension with this. So I'm going to use the first layer as my guide. And there's some petals that I did not put color on. I just missed them. Not like intentionally, but just missed it. So. And so with your hockey, you can like a light... It's water, just water, right there, right? Water all over everything. Okay, now on the outside, I'm just taking the basic colors I have. I'm looking at this here, maybe just sweeping a little bit in. That's going to look a little dramatic. I'm thinking that actually since I pulled a little bit of that yellow color, I'll pull it down here too, just a little tint. Going back into my French Ultramarine Blue Burnt Sienna Mix. Okay. So you've got your, you're making your shadows again. Yeah, I'm starting to work on the shadows. Now, instead of wet on wet, I'm doing wet on dry. So, see how this petal goes over here? Don't worry about this so much, because once I get the shadow in, I'm going to do a little negative painting there. I'm looking at this area, this, these little details. Let's see if you can see where I am. Put that right there. So right over here, that's that is here. If I wait too long, it's gonna stay that way. Right. I know that one. Okay, so I'm gonna take either the 20 or the 30. I'm taking the 30. And remember how I said, don't go over the center of it? That's I'm trying to show you that you can see it better. See, I'm going right along the edge of it, not on top of it. To soften it? Yeah. Okay, so for this here, I want to show you how to work on this. We, a lot of people think it looks like a hand. So uh, they don't know what to do with it. All we're going to do is wet it. Wet it. Fill these in. Take my number eight brush. Go to my French Ultramarine Blue Burnt Sienna Mix. Just put a little shadow on one side. See, I don't go back and forth, back and forth. I'm pulling it. Well, actually, it looks like I'm going back and forth, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm going pull, 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 pull. Not scrub, scrub, scrub. Thank you. 